Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to Lake Macquarie Regional Football Facility up here in the Hunter as a sizzling, sparkling, scorching, in fact, Sunday afternoon begins to draw to a close. We're here to bring you round four action of New South Wales NPL women's football. It is, of course, the Emerging Jets here this afternoon playing host to Sydney University FC. Absolute privilege to have you along for this one, wherever it is in the world you may be watching from. The team news is in, so without further ado, let's take you through each of the side's lineups ahead of kickoff here in the Hunter. Starting, of course, for the emerging Jets. In goal, the ever-present number 32, Kiva Bray. Number three, Sophie Howarth. Number six, Sean Wild. Number nine, Emma O'Hagan. Number 10, Isabella Threlfo. The 14, Laura Knipe. 15, Alexis Collins. And 16, Layla Sharp. The 23, Josie Allen. 24, Milan Hammond. Who will captain the side this afternoon as well. The starting 11, rounded out by number 28, Zoe Daly. For the travellers this afternoon, of course, Sydney University making the long trip up to the Hunter. Starting in goal, number 21, Chelsea Hromek. Number four, Amelia Feeney. Seven, Anna Hunt. Eight, Jamey Bofils. The nine, scorer of a brace last week. I'll bring you more on that throughout the course of the broadcast, of course. That will be Ava Pritchard. 14, Charlotte Hampshire. 17, Amelia Kirby. 18, Charlotte Hogan. The 20, Taylor Kvetkovsky. The 30, Madison Van Dyke. And the 39, Ruby Egan Brown, also score out last week in the students. 3 1 victory down at Christie Park. Referees conducting their final checks ahead of kickoff here in the Hunter. one sure to be a fascinating contest of course whistle blows and away we go it is of course sydney university kicking from left to right on your screen to get us underway immediately launching an attack through anna hunt on this near touch line cross comfortably claimed by the jets custodian and kiva bray decent bit of distribution there as well Midfield battle is one out there by Sean Wilde. Only momentarily, Jam Jamay Burfield's able to pick it up. Back with Feeney. Well, Anna Hunt was expecting the pass out on this near touch line. It didn't arrive. It was comfortably cut out by the Jets number 10 in Threlfo. Now the Jets look to utilise the full width of the pitch. It's Josie Allen looking to cut one in for Milan Hammond, who was arriving late. Cromack read it well. The goalkeeper plunging down on that one there and snuffing out the danger. As we said, Sydney Uni, of course, got their first three points of the season down at Christie Park last week. Never an easy place to travel to against Spirits FC. 
3-1 victory on the night. A brace to Ava Pritchard and Ruby Egan-Brown rounding out the scoring in that one. The Jets still searching for their first win of the season. Not for want of trying. And they're on the ball here. On the move, the Jets. Let's play keep ball here with Threlfo. Back with the number nine, O'Hagan. Over the top it goes for Milan Hammonds. Through on goal is Milan Hammond. An early chance for the Jets. Well, that's a couple of chances they've had now. Draws a good save, a smart save out of Chelsea Hromek. But uh, very good sights on goal that for the Jets number 24. She has been a very key point of danger for the Jets over the last couple of seasons, has Milan Hammonds. Will it be she who scores the first Jets goal of the 2024 season, perhaps? Could it be here today? For the time being, it's Sydney Uni on the ball. Again, Utilising the full width of the pitch. The cross is all too deep in the end. Keeper Bray happy to watch that behind. Talented cricketer is Kiva Bray as well. The multi-sports Jets goalkeeper here today. Trading the willow for the goalkeeping gloves. In fact, scored a double century in her side's grand final, the 2024 cricket grand final up here in the Hunter as well. Denman local. She might have another job to do here as Uni looked to cut that across the face. Bray might have just got a palm to that, I think. Good challenge from Threlfo. Concedes the throw. But halted the advance of the students. Kirby forward to take the resulting throw. She'll have it back as well. Didn't measure the cross though. And now Josie Allen streaming forward on this near touch line. One on one with Amelia Feeney. Just about got around the outside of Feeney but... A last-ditch sliding challenge there from Feeney, conceding the corner. Very open in the early exchanges here in Lake Macquarie. This is Knipe. Cross is blocked. It will come back out for Josie Allen, who hangs this one up towards the back post. A couple lurking in the area, one of who was Zoe Daly. And that's another very good save from Chelsea Hromek. Well, the Jets have perhaps had the better of the opening exchanges here in Lake Macquarie. Two very, very good saves indeed from Chelsea Hromek. Ensures that the scores remain level. Looking to switch the points of attack out to this near touch line again are the students. Passing lane's blocked off though and O'Hagan will pick this one up. Milan Hammonds perhaps just strayed fractionally offside and realised so and halted her run and as such couldn't pick up the through ball. Now here's Anna Hunt. Stretching was Fetkovsky, couldn't reach it though and Milan Hammond will benefit from that. Skips around a couple of challenges. On the edge of the six now, Hammonds! Blocked on the line once again. And well, Sydney Uni's goal perhaps leading a bit of a charmed life at the moment. Collins, now Sharp. 
Central is Hammond. Back to goal. Couldn't turn. Kvetkovsky able to pick up the pass. And Sydney Uni clear their lines again. Thrown in by Threlfo. Headed straight back out by Feeney. Jets will be happy to take the metres upfield. Thrown in again in the direction of Hammond, but Feeney picks that out. Stolen in late there by Laura Knipe. The Jets just looking to box in Sydney Uni here. Doing so to great effect is Collins and winning the corner as well. It's been a hot old afternoon up here in the Hunter. The action, of course, heating things up even further is Josie Allen. Driven cross. It's just nodded back to Cromack. He wants to get things on the move quickly. Jets first to the first and second ball there. Didn't quite have the end product. Sydney Uni again unable to make headway out of their own half. They might just here though with Hunt. Oh, that's a wonderful turn from the number seven to evade the attention of Threlfo. Still going here is Hunt. Perhaps just took one touch too many as she burst into the area. Movements off the ball there from Madison Van Dyke. Tough challenge as well. Falls as kindly at the feet of Kvetkovsky. The flick on by Hammond. Oh, she was the furthest forward for the Jets at the time. Mind you, Zoe Daly will come forward just to keep Romek honest. A well-timed challenge over on the far touch line from Sophie Holworf. Sean Wild just bustled off it in the end there. Very good challenge though and Bit of a physical tussle there between Collins and Van Dyke. Good looking flick on that from Zoe Daly as well to find a teammate on the far touch line. The ball's just run out of play though. Running out of real estate, the Jets, in the f- form of Laura Knipe. Well, if you are just joining us this afternoon on the Football New South Wales YouTube, very good afternoon to you indeed. Still deadlocked here at Lake Macquarie through the first 10 minutes or so. The Jets have probably had the better of the chances, it's fair to say. Sydney Uni now looking to launch one forwards. Threlfo. Smartly playing back to Bray. And they'll look to play their way through this press here as well, will the Jets? Forward for Collins. Couldn't quite evade the attention of Amelia Kirby, though. All the way back with Romek. It should be easily picked out here by Sophie Howarth and is.
Loose pass, however, from Threlfo. Picked up easily by Anna Hunts. The strike at the end of it, probably not her finest effort. Didn't quite get the purchase that she may have wanted on that one. Straight at Kiva Bray in the end. Once again, Sydney Uni looking to play their way through this press. Alexis Collins was hesitant to apply the full press there. It's worked out in her favour, though, as she'll pick this up and look for the return, perhaps, from Allen. Allen going central momentarily. Couldn't ride the challenge of Feeney. She'll pick it back up here, though, Allen. Looking to slide one in behind for Milan Hammond. Once again, Sydney Uni able to play their way out. Hogan. Wide it will go for Madison Van Dyke. Sean Wild not giving Van Dyke an inch of space to move there. Well defended from the Jets. Well done, Sean Wild, indeed. She's con conceded the free kick for her troubles, though, has Wild. Nearly everyone behind the ball here for the Jets. Alexis Collins, the only one who's remained forwards. As this one is hung up towards the edge of the 18-yard box. So the second ball was Dvetkovsky. Here she is again as well, bustled off it by Josie Allen. Fantastic endeavour from the Jets. Number 23, and that's a good-looking ball as well for Collins. Well, just taken off her toe at the last moment. Very smart, well-timed challenge indeed, that from Kirby. And they'll look to launch a rapid counter-attack, which is halted. I think it was Emma O'Hagan with the challenge. Meanwhile, here comes Milan Hammond. There's a little tug on the shirt as she looked to break through there. She did manage to get the shot away in the end. Just a goal kick at the end of it awarded by referee Caleb Lowe. She's probably looked the most likely so far this afternoon to break the deadlock from either side, Milan Hammonds. Crossfield ball picked up by Layla Sharp. Now Alexis Collins. One way in the other. Still going here, Collins. Wants to get around the outside of Kirby. Didn't measure the cross effectively, though. Cleared as far as Hunt. Threlfo. Not giving Hunt an inch there. And here's Collins. Couldn't stick the pass, though. Good challenge from... Emma O'Hagan. And now Knipe. Why it will go once again for Zoe Daly. Move just breaking down though. And Kiva Bray's come a long way off her line to claim that. Well, that's smart goalkeeping playing sweeper keeper there. Well, back heel from Alexis Collins. Not finding a teammate, however. Over the top for Burefields. Kretkowski swinging it wide. Ruby Egan Brown on the far touch line. Never got the opportunity to get the cross in, but she'll have a corner for her endeavour. Second corner of the match for Sydney Uni. This one near post delivery. Knocks down, but only knocked down to Laura Knight. Her clearance, though. 
Straight at the feet of one of those from Uni. And there's a decent looking strike at the end of it from Charlotte Hogan as well. Had Kiva Bray half interested for a moment. It looked like it might dip late. Not dipping enough though. Here's Collins. She's had plenty of involvement so far this afternoon as Collins. Layla Sharp couldn't retain the ball. Now Uni getting forward in a promising area. Decent ball into the channel there. That's the Jets' turn to do some defending now. They had most of the running in the opening 18 or so minutes here in Lake Macquarie. Sydney Uni perhaps just sensing a momentum shift here. Hansen and Bufield's unable to create anything on this near touchline there. Jets maybe playing their way into trouble though at Charlotte Hogan. Bufield's good looking layoff and she's one on one now as well. The cut back across the face. It is the opener for Sydney Uni. Anna Hunt at the end of a well constructed move. The Jets just playing their way into trouble as they look to play their way out from the back. Sydney Uni moving the ball ever so quickly. And Anna Hunt with a tap in at the end of it all. It can be a cruel game, football, as we said. The early exchanges certainly in favour of the hosts. But it's Sydney Uni who go ahead on the scoreboard, and that's what counts. Here's O'Hagan. The pass was just behind her defensive counterpart there in Sophie Howarth and all the way out on the far touchline. Decent looking strike at the end of it, straight from the throw in just about as well. Kiva Bray confident that she had her angles correct and happy to watch that just sail high and wide of her goal. Once again, the Jets looking to play their way out from the back. Brave or foolhardy? Well, I'll let you decide because they have turned it over on the edge of the 18 once again. Dredkovsky with the flicked header. Unable to find a teammate. It will pop out for Charlotte Hogan. She's been first to nearly every second ball in the centre of the park. Thralfo. Hammond. It was an awkward one to control. She's done exceptionally well, though, Hammond. And now the Jets with a chance to counter punch through Laura Knight. And now Daly. Working her way into the area. Cut back across the face with great ferocity. The strike at the end of it all from Sharp was blocked. More promising signs from the hosts there. They'll have a throw in for their efforts as well. Plenty of instruction coming from the Jets coaching staff on the far touchline as well. Here's Milan Hammond. They want to keep the ball moving here. And Josie Allen on the spin. Again, it was a very awkward height to get any real sort of power behind the strike. She does have fantastic technique. Josie Allen. No real trouble for Chelsea Cromack, though. It should be comfortably cut out by Threlfo and is. And again, Kiva Bray, happy to play sweeper keeper. It's brave from Bray. Oh, so confidence coming off her line. Hammonds this time forcing Cromack off her line. Cromack was just first to it, and she had to be. Feeney just left the ball behind momentarily there. 
Hammond was looking to pounce. Daly. It's another fascinating battle on that far touchline between her and Egan Brown. Charlotte Hogan now. Hampshire forward for Van Dyke. Looking for the switch of play where Hunt, the goal scorer, was lurking. Smartly cut out by Threlfo and Collins looking to get over halfway, looking to release one of Hammond or Daly. Again, Hromek quickly off her line to snuff out the danger. Josie Allen will pick it straight back up for the Jets, though. Bustling through a couple of challenges is Allen and now Hammond. And we will go to the spot. Milan Hammond dragged down right on the edge of the 18 as she looked to turn into the area. And the Jets with a golden opportunity to level proceedings here in Lake Macquarie. It will be Milan Hammonds. She won the penalty. She goes to the spot to perhaps score the Jets' first goal of the season. And she's put it just over. It looked like she may have lost her footing as she struck the ball there. So it will remain 1-0 in favour of Sydney Uni and that will be the Final action of the first half of the first half of this one. With the scorching heat and a bit of humidity around today in the Hunter as well. Players are off for a well-earned drinks break. Just one goal to show for it for the opening 23 minutes, but certainly not devoid of action. That goal coming... From Anna Hunt, of course. After a series of one-touch passes from the students. Working their way into the area and leaving Anna Hunt with a tap-in. Milan Hammond, very unfortunate to not level proceedings just a moment ago. Referee Caleb Lowe urging both sets of players to rejoin the action. Eventually they do. We'll restart, of course, with a Chelsea Hromek goal kick. Plenty of action, of course, across the NPL New South Wales women's competition this afternoon. The 4.45 kickoff football New South Wales Institute playing host to Northern Tigers down at Valentine Sports Park. Illawarra Stingrays hosting Blacktown Spartans. And Zoe Daly on the far touchline burning around a defender. That's well done, Zoe Daly. Couldn't... Keep the cross in play, though. Just behind for a goal kick at the end of it. Other action this afternoon. MacArthur Rams hosting Gladesville Ravens. The other 5 o'clock kickoff was, of course, a newly promoted University of New South Wales playing host to Sydney Olympic. Don't forget, 6.45pm. Bulls Academy hosting up here Leichhardt. Our focus is here, though, of course, in the Hunter, where Sydney are looking to make it too with Hunt, who, of course, opened the scoring for the students. It's smartly blocked, and the Jets are keen to get things on the move again. Wonderfully tracked back by Anna Hunt. She's seemingly been everywhere this afternoon. Good 
Good turn from Sophie Howarth. Sean Wilds. Now a raking crossfield ball in the direction of Collins. Is smartly picked out. They'll have a straight back, though, the Jets. And perhaps just playing their way into trouble once again. Charlotte Hogan picking that one up. And now Anna Hunt once again on the Hunt for a second. The strike at the end of it drifting away from Bowfields, I should say. My apologies. Kiva Bray at full stretch. Just a matter of millimetres wide. It was always fading away from Bray's right hand uprights. Now Josie Allen. Ball into the channel for Collins. Halted by Feeney. Hunts playing square to Charlotte Hogan there. Hogan just with her heels clipped. Gives the Jets a chance to get their shape back at least. Pass is comfortably picked out by Laura Knipe. Now Daly on the far touch line. Didn't have the beating of Charlotte Hampshire though. And the resulting throw in comfortably picked out by Hampshire. Now Van Dyke. Kretkowski. Josie Allen will have it back for the Jets. Trying to get Zoe Daly in behind Hampshire. Hampshire happy to watch that behind. Sydney Uni want the foul throw there. Referee Caleb Lowe uninterested. Jets will just look to keep the ball moving here. Threlfo. Collins has just slipped at the last. Allowing Hunt to take that away. Now Hunt dances through one, two and three. Four was too many though. Collins back with Threlfo. Is their modus operandi, the Jets, always wanting to play out from the back and might pay off here, Hammonds. She's got great pace, does the Jets number 24 in Milan, Hammonds, and good strength too. Decent delivery, and the strike at the end of it from Allen. Drawing another very sharp save from Chelsea Hromek. They've halved and they've passed to have the Jets. They haven't been able to find the back of the net in this one, but you wouldn't bet against them. Threlfo. Here's Pritchard. Hasn't seen too much of the ball so far in this one, Ava Pritchard. That's testament to the good work defensively that the Jets have managed. And Collins, oh, Hromek, once again off her line. Zoe Daly has spotted that. Had a go from about 23 or 24 yards out. Maybe just rushed the shot a little bit. Zoe Daly, comfortable for Hromek, as will that be. Bofils. Back for Van Dyke. Cross it will go for Feeney and oh, Milan Hammond again keeping the students' defence very honest and they've just about got away with it there, Sydney Uni. There might be a bit of a masterstroke that 
Move out from the back. Van Dyke looking to measure the cross. Flicked on in the direction of Hunt. Thought about the shot. Instead, switches on to her right. Looks to go through the gears a little bit. The cross was blocked smartly. Hammond with the flick on. No teammates in the same postcode as that, though. Feeney just looking to calm things down a little bit. The Jets energetic in their press, in their search for an equaliser. Good challenge from Sean Wild. Collins, who's playing more centrally now. It looks like Milan Hammond will operate more on this left-hand side. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad front three in all honesty. Milan Hammond, Josie Allen and Alexis Collins... Still yet to notch up a goal this season are the Jets. In spite of that front three. Milan Hammond's just on a completely different wavelength to her teammates there, but they'll have it back through Haworth. Zoe Daly now. Knight. Couldn't evade the attention of her opposite number 14, though. In fact, my apologies. That's Biofields on the far touch line. Of the Jets maybe feeling the departure of Gin- Brindley Gentle of course, was third in the overall goal-scoring charts in spite of the Jets finishing bottom of the table last season. 15 goals to her name. She's made the move down to Lambert Park with Uppia Leichhardt this season. So far in 2024, just still looking to really fill that void. Lauren Knight with the strike. Comfortable once again for Chromek. And plenty of junior football talent here in the Hunter, of course. For so long, a real stronghold of football in New South Wales. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before they really unlock the latest or the next generation of Brindley Gentle there. Flicked head out from Kvetkovsky. Cleared by Threlfo once again. Just about 10 or so minutes to go until the half-time break here at Lake Macquarie. It is Sydney University still with that one-goal advantage, courtesy of Anna Hunt. They'll look to move the ball quickly here. Well, perhaps too quickly. Threlfo read the pass into the channel. Ball and all challenge from Milan Hammond. Now Josie Allen. She's spotted the run of Zoe Daly on the far channel. Ball was just a little too far ahead of her teammate, though. Sydney Uni get us back underway through Kirby. Forward for Hunt once again. Josie Allen. Shoulder to shoulder challenge with Anna Hunt there. Josie Allen's seen just about enough. Very much halting the advance of the students. 
She'll have it back though, Anna Hunt, and this time it's Milan Hammond. Not shy of defending. At the expense of a corner though. Clipped in towards the near post. Flicked header from Pritchard is comfortable for Kiva Bray. Again, distribute short. Hammond in a foot race with Kvetkovsky. Shielded out of play by the Sydney Uni number 20. Launched forward by Kirby. It should be comfortable enough for O'Hagan. It is, but she did have two or three of those Sydney Uni players applying some pressure. Milan Hammond stretching to try and keep that one in play. You may have uh, heard through the effects, Mike. A bit of disappointment, perhaps. Kirby to get us back underway. Nowhere to go for Pritchard. She's boxed out of it by two Jets players who will win the throw as well. Josie Allen was the last one into the challenge. It was a very good one indeed. Now, Collins. Little back heel looking for Milan Hammonds. The link up in that front third from the Jets has been a case of oh so nearly throughout the course of that. And that's a very smart turn indeed from Milan Hammonds. Opening up the box of party tricks now to try and unlock this Sydney Uni defence. Here's Allen. Pulled back into the area for Collins. Again, had Chelsea Cromack interested. But again, just fading away from the far post. Brilliant work in the lead-up, of course, from Milan Hammond and Josie Allen as well. Close, but no cigar once again for the Jets. Here is Collins again. Well-timed challenge from Charlotte Hogan. Zoe Daly flicks one up and looks to nod one into the path of Laura Knight. Couldn't retain possession, though. Sydney Uni not interested in trying to play through the press that time, but, well, they'll have it straight back. Josie Allen slipping and allowing Hunt to dance around. This time they will work it wide through a series of passes, the students. The cross at the end of it, no one really attacking it. It was all too close to Kiva Bray in the end. Very comfortable for the Jets' custodian, and on we go. Hammond. Just ran out of real estate there, Milan Hammond. Who's been full of endeavour this afternoon. And the press from Hammonds forcing the turnover at the end of it as well. Kirby rising to meet that one, finding a teammate in Hampshire. Couldn't force a way through though, Hampshire. Her opposite number 14 now in Knipe, looking to unleash the pace of Zoe Daly on the far touch line. Here is Laura Knipe again. She's not giving up on this one, is she? And she's won a side of throw-in as well for her troubles. Excellent work from the Jets, number 14. Is Collins. Couldn't stick the pass, though, in the direction of Zoe Daly. Threlfo winning the aerial duel there. 
Josie Allen, Sophie Howarth now on the far touch line. Once again, just breaking down though. And the Sydney Uni wants to get forward on the far touch line this time. Well, they've run out of room once again. As we slowly tick towards the interval here in the Hunter. It was a frenetic opening half to the first half. First 23 or so minutes, of course, Sydney Uni took the lead. The Jets went to the spot for a chance to equalise. Unable to convert, though. They might just get one on the break here through Daly. Whipped in towards Collins. Nodded back towards Knight. Hammonds couldn't quite, quite reach it. And once again, Sydney Uni able to clear their lines. It was Kirby with the clearance and now Hunts, the goal scorer. Played straight to the feet of Sean Wilds for the Jets. Wilds. It was a bit of a wild pass, so too far behind Laura Knight. Once again, Sydney Uni with that raking crossfield ball in the direction of Hunt. Josie Allen, well, this has been a fantastic battle between the two of them. Josie Allen's taken it away. A couple of little stepovers as well. Wants to get around the outside of the defender. Just about managed to do so, but the cross delivered at the end of it. Straight into the arms of Chelsea Cromick. Possession thrown away by Hromek, though. Emma O'Hagan stepping forward to great effect. Still trying to work their way into the area. The Jets, but just unable to break down what has been a very resolute Sydney Uni defence. Stayed relatively compact. Kirby. Now Hunt once again. Swung into the area. Headed half clear, but they'll get a second opportunity here, will the students? Cut back across the face in the direction of Pritchard arriving late. Kiva Bray snuffing out the danger once more. Hammond, head up and scanning for options in front. Feeney first to it. Smart turn, good use of the body there from Alexis Collins now. Wants to get at the uni defence and have a go herself as well, Will Collins. Well, it was moving about a bit in the air. In the end, Chelsea Hromek able to pluck that one out of the sky. Well, it's smartly played out from the back by Sydney Uni. Charlotte Hogan. Now Kvetkovsky. Ruby Egan Brown now on the far touch line. Turn from both fills. Couldn't quite force her way through though. It's a late challenge, that, from Sophie Howarth. She's going to get a bit of a talking to from the referee as well. No malice in it, just mistimed. 
We are, of course, through the regulation first 45 here in the Hunter. Sydney Uni still with that slender advantage. Just the one goal to show for it. Plenty of actions at both ends, though. Both goalkeepers have been called into action a number of times. Sydney Uni might just look to manage the rest of this half out. Well, Van Dyke wanted to go forwards. O'Hagan now for the Jets. Clearance at the end of it might give Milan Hammonds half a chance while the flag was up very quickly on the far touch line. Milan Hammond just not quite quick enough to get back. Here's Feeney. Kirby. Pressed once again immediately by Josie Allen. Able to play through it. And now Charlotte Hogan. Hunt. Going one way and the other. Shifting back onto her right. And clipped across. Kiva Bray gets a good palm to it. Sophie Howarth. Just about completing the clear up. Desperately stretching to try and prevent the corner. But we will. Have perhaps just one last corner for the half. Might just be about enough time to take it. Clipped in once again centrally and once again headed straight back out to the corner taker. It's going to come straight back in at them and Kiva Bray with a good take, a smart take. And that will indeed be the final action of the first stanza of this one here in the Hunter eight. Very entertaining opening 45. Just the one goal to show for it, courtesy of Sydney University's number seven in Anna Hunt. After a series of one-touch passes, left her with a tap-in at the back post. The Jets went to the spot with the chance to equalise, but couldn't convert. They'll have 45 minutes still to play. We're off to a short break here in the Hunter. Join us for the second half in about 15 or so minutes' time.
A very warm welcome back indeed to Lake Macquarie Regional Football Facility up here in the Hunter. It's the Emerging Jets, of course, playing host to Sydney University. The whistle blows for the second half and away we go. Referee Caleb Lowe eager to get on with things, as are the Jets. The Jets are currently behind. The students leading by one goal to nil, that first half goal to Anna Hunt. The only thing separating these two sides as we stand. The Jets have not been without their chances, though. But for a couple of very sharp stops by Sydney Uni goalkeeper Chelsea Hromek. And perhaps some profligacy in front of goal as well. They could well, not only be level, but in fact be ahead. They did go to the spot in the first half with a chance to equalise. Milan Hammonds unable to convert. Here she is on the ball again, Hammonds. Tough competitor that she is. Winning the ball back for her side, momentarily at least. Ruby Egan-Brown back with Hampshire. Pass is easily dealt with by Howarth, though. Layla Sharp. Across it goes for Josie Allen, who's had a very lively first half. And bursting into the area is Josie Allen. Now back to goal. Wants to go herself. Shifting onto her right. Has a go at the end of it. Just drifting wide. A sighter in the second half. That there from Josie Allen. Kovsky back with Feeney. Ruby Egan Brown was on the score sheet last week in that victory away to Spirits FC. Of course, Ruby Egan Brown opening her account for the season. Here's Hammonds. Another lovely little flick over the top and her pace is causing real problems here. Milan Hammond pulled back across the face. Arriving late was Zoe Daly and then the efforts at the end of it from Laura Knipe. Didn't get the direction required. Just her second start of the season, this in round four. Laura Knipe. Been at the Jets for a number of years, of course, came through the junior ranks here as well. Delivery, left footed delivery that from Milan Hammond in the direction of Alexis Collins. Couldn't pick out her teammates. It's her first appearance in the NPL for this season so far, Milan Hammond. Another one who has been at the club for a, a couple of years now, come through the ranks, returning to the NPL sets up. Just the one goal last season for Milan Hammond, but she's looked very likely today. It's Sydney Uni getting forward on the far touch line, though. The flag is up. That will halt their advances. Anna Hunt, the goal scorer. Straying fractionally offside there. Into the channel it goes once again in the direction of Laura Knight, her opposite number 14, Hampshire getting there first. 
They can't get it over halfway, though, the students. And just as it looked like Zoe Daly might just about burst into the area. Play is paused by referee Caleb Lowe. Just checking on the welfare of Amelia Feeney, who wore that one pretty flush in the face, it has to be said. Back underway with the drop ball and sportingly the students return it to the Jets on halfway. Jets just about able to play their way through that front four press of Sydney Uni. They'll win the throw in on the near touch line at the end of it towards Daly. Clearance cannons into the legs of Daly in the end. And Sydney Uni with the opportunity to return serve from the throw. Thrown away though. Sophie Howarth all the way back to Bray. We'll now look to switch the point of attack to the far touch line. Alexis Collins just ran away from her, though. And now Anna Hunt with a chance for Sydney Uni. Measuring the cross, well, not the accurate measurement required. Laura Knight linking up once again with Allen. Daly, in the direction of Daly, I should say. My apologies. Didn't reach her in the end. And now both fields will have a chance on this near touch line. It was curling in towards Kiva Bray's goal. Kiva Bray, once again, very confident that she had her angles correct. Sharp. Now, Wild Hammond on halfway for the Jets. Turns around and skips past the challenge of Hampshire. Not past Feeney, though. Here's Feeney again. Sydney Uni playing themselves into a bit of bother here, though. Laura Knight picking up on the scraps. And it's, once again, a battle of the two number 14s. Charlotte Hampshire with the final touch on that behind. It will go for another Jets corner, though. little variation, this on the corner. One off the training ground, perhaps. Not working out on that occasion. Kiva Bray acting as an additional centre-back at times with how high she plays. Might have worked out fantastically well as well. Zemmer O'Hagan, who's stayed forward in a wide area for the Jets. It's well defended, though. Emma O'Hagan not allowed to drive inside. It was a pretty physical tussle at the end of it between O'Hagan and the Sydney Uni defender. A few checks on the well-being. It was a little tough to make out who exactly who that was prone on the turf there. The sun is setting here in the Hunter. Night. Exchanging passes smartly there. The Jets playing their way through the middle of the park. Alexis Collins denied by another very good last ditch challenge there from the students. Josie Allen. Now Wild and 
swings it out in the direction of Zoe Daly. Manages to isolate and skip around her defender there. And, well, you'd say it was well defended. It could have just about ended up anywhere. It was a teasing, a wicked delivery that from Zoe Daly. And another Jets corner. That corner count starting to mount now for the hosts. Josie Allen swings this one in this time. Might just fall kindly for Milan Hammond. A bit of an air swing at the end of it. Couldn't quite reel it back in there, Hammond. Kiva Bray again. Opting to play sweeper keeper. She's a long way off her line, Kiva Bray. She's tracking back quickly, but not quite quickly enough. The long range strike from Ava Pritchard, opportunistic, but precision. Ava Pritchard doubles the students' advantage here in the Hunter. Adds to her brace from last week. That's her third of the season here in round four. And the Jets will go to the bench in an attempt to try and salvage something from this one. Zoe Daly, who's been extremely lively this afternoon, will take a well-earned break. Bring you confirmation of that change in just a moment. In fact, it's Madeline Conn. So it looks like Madeline Conn will operate on the left. Milan Hammond, for now, will switch across to this near flank on the right for the Jets. Sydney Uni get us back underway and immediately the Jets with that effective pressure momentarily near touch line for Ruby Egan Joan Ruby Egan Brown my apologies of course well as things stand Sydney Uni with a chance to start climbing the table here with their second win on the bounce. Still plenty of football yet to be played, though, of course, over half an hour remaining. It looks like at a third as well. It's speculative, perhaps. Not the direction required on the shot, though. Kiva Bray gets us back underway, and Josie Allen tries to turn away. Well, turns away effectively from the first challenge, not the second, though. Back it goes for Hampshire, Feeney, Cromek. Madeline Conn now picks this up for the Jets. That press telling once more. Collins. Knipe, and now Milan Hammond. Thought about the shots. Chops back onto her left, and does go herself in the end. Hammond's. It's a good save at the end of it from Chelsea Hromek. It's creeping inside that near post. Very good effort from Milan Hammond, but matched by the save from Hromek. Very much equal to it. Hampshire. Looks like Hunt may have been offside from the pass. It won't matter. In fact, Kiva Bray once again happy to come out and play as an additional defender. And again, she has to track back. 
manages to get back in time this time. Van Dijk just skewed her effort somewhat, though. Long way wide in the end from Madison Van Dijk. Josie Allen turning and playing one into the channel. That's a fantastic ball from Josie Allen as well. The Jets, well, they've pulled one back. Wonderful ball from Josie Allen finding Alexis Collins there. And the Jets have halved the deficit in the Hunter. It's fair to say, no less than they deserve. Well, Sydney Uni's turn to go to the bench. A double change coming up here. Ruby Egan Brown takes her leave for the afternoon. Sydney Uni want to get on the move with things very quickly. So we'll bring you confirmation of those two changes in just a moment. One of those on is Jenny Hill. The other one is Sarah Farrow. Swung into the area. Bofields was lurking. Will pop out for Jenny Hill and Bofields with the final touch. Just looking to guide it into the far post. Kiva Bray alert to the danger. Jenny Hill can't retain possession. And the Jets looking to square the ledger here. Pulled back across the face. By Alexis Collins. She's been oh so lively this afternoon. Does have a goal to show for it as well. Comfortable take though at the end of it for Hromek. So 2 1 here in the Hunter. With about half an hour or so to play, plus any time added on. A bit of a wrestling match on this near touch line between Van Dyke and Laura Knight. Pritchard, well, perhaps delaying the restart there. Caleb Lowe happy to just get on with it. Josie Allen, ball was just a little bit behind Con though. And again, it's a physical tussle in the middle of the park. A couple of little afters here as well. Josie Allen's going to have to be careful. It was the tussle between her and Charlotte Hogan. Just a bit of a tangle of legs. Josie Allen may be coming through a little bit late. The third player involved in the challenge. And a couple of little afters. A referee, Caleb Lowe, will consult with his official on this near touch line. I don't think there would be necessarily any further sanctions. Well, for the Jets, they just want to get on with it, really. Josie Allen being summoned to the headmaster's office and just a yellow card at the end of it. Referee explaining his decision. Josie Allen accepting of it. And on we go. Here's Hammonds. Looking to shift gears here, Hammonds. Josie Allen. Tries to reel that one back in. The final touch was Madison Van Dyke, so the Jets will have yet another corner. It is Allen to take. Towering header from Milan Hammond, a fantastically timed late run to the top of the box there.
Just didn't quite get the direction on it, though. Kromek. Again, they can't get it over halfway, the students. The Jets seemingly buoyed by that goal minutes ago to Alexis Collins. O'Hagan. Bit of space to operate in centrally, O'Hagan. And now Hammond with a bit of space on the near touch line. Driving inside Milan Hammond. Still going. And bundled off it at the end of it after she let the pass go as well. Caleb Lowe looked to see if there was any advantage. There wasn't. And the Jets with a set-piece opportunity in a pretty tasty sort of an area here as well. Well, there was two standing over it. Now there's just the one. Hammond has left this one for Josie Allen. Josie Allen, variation on the free kick, playing or sliding the ball into Hammond there, I should say. It's dealt with just about by the students. But again, progress halted. No counter-attack on that occasion. Laura Knipe tracking back to great effect. O'Hagan keeps the ball moving and looks to swing one wide in the direction of Con. Threlfo, crunching challenge on that far touch line. I'll have a free kick for the challenge from Isabella Threlfo. Will the students? Jenny Hill. Couldn't keep it, though. I'll have it back in the form of Feeney. Well, is that the curse of the commentator right here? Milan Hammond. Now for the Jets. Again, looking to play that diagonal ball into the channel. She'll have a go. That's very audacious from Milan Hammond. She is capable of the spectacular. That perhaps, though, even or beyond even her capabilities, maybe. Shot was blocked in any case. The sun slowly sinks over the horizon behind the clouds and the hilltops here in the Hunter. Again, another wrestling match in the middle of the park, so the action... Certainly heating up here for the final 22 or so minutes here in the Hunter. Sydney Uni, of course, looking for their second win on the bounce. We will have that mandatory drinks break, even though the weather has cooled right off. Thankfully for the players and I'm sure the officials and, of course, the broadcasters as well. But of course, being that we did have that drinks break in the first half, we will also have one in the second. And great conditions for perhaps a bit of a blockbuster final 22 or so minutes here at Lake Macquarie. Finally poised this one. Sydney Uni took the lead in the first half through Anna Hunt. Milan Hammond went to the spot with the opportunity to square the ledger, but couldn't convert. Sydney Uni went two goals to the good after a long-range effort from Ava Pritchard. But the Jets have pulled one back. Alexis Collins halving the deficit. And that is the current state of play. Probably more than fair to say that the Jets' endeavours do re deserve, I should say, something out of this one. Yet to be seen if they can find the all-important equaliser. Will it be 
This one in Josie Allen, bursting through a couple of challenges, pulling it back across the face, and again it's blocked. It's been the Josie Allen show at times here at Lake Macquarie. She'll have a corner again. Once again, working it short for Collins. Allen will have it back with an alternate angle. And now Collins. Well, it was just sliced a bit. Milan Hammond will pick it up. Has time to size up the delivery. Move just breaking down, though, and Bowfield's able to carry it forward. My apologies, that indeed was Ava Pritchard. The Jets, of course, looking to try and chase down that one goal advantage that the students hold. That can allow cracks to open up at times, though. And now Sarah Farrow striding forward for the students. It's a wonderful challenge from Laura Knight, who's been full of industry in this second half. Sean Wilds. They can't hold on to the football, though, the Jets. And they'll work it across to the far touchline with Hunt now for Sydney Uni. Well-timed challenge by Threlfo. Not diving in. Just waiting for her moment and picking it with aplomb. Crosses. A little too deep. Picked up or retrieved by Farrow, who will go herself. Well... Keeping Kiva Bray very honest indeed. Josie Allen now. She's rapid. The Jets number 23 and the diving challenge at the end of it from Amelia Feeney. Had to get that right and just about did. And in fact, the final touch is off Josie Allen. So just a goal kick to show for it. A wonderful endeavour. Shown by Josie Allen. She's one of a few who've really stood out in this one for the Jets. Here's Farrow for the students. So, well, it's a bit of a late challenge, that from Laura Knight. Just a free kick, nothing more. The ball forwards from Hampshire was sliced, and now Josie Allen might have an opportunity here. Again, just fading away from that top corner. Cromick happy to watch it just sail wide in the end. The students once again living dangerously. Headed forward towards Collins, who looks to clip one in for Hammond, who's arriving quite late. Hammond managed to get around the outside of Farrow. Clearance at the end of it from Hampshire. Straight into touch. Giving the Jets another opportunity to whip one into the area here. Madeline Conn, who's switched flanks and switched too far forward, in fact, straying offside there. Another let off for the students in some ways. Sarah Farrow once again just losing her bearings a little bit there. Can't keep it in the field of play over the top for Hammond. Swung in towards the, well, sort of between the penalty spot and the six yard box into a real danger zone there. It's out of reach of the goalkeeper, but no one attacking it. No one making that late run. Here's Josie Allen, though, shifting onto her left. Josie Allen! And again, just flashing over the crossbar, the effort from Allen.
Oh, she's looked extremely likely in this second half as Josie Allen. That one was just a whisker away. Getting closer and closer. Sharp. Now Wilds riding the challenge and giving away the free kick at the end of it. We will see another change coming up here, this time for Sydney Uni. It will be the game's opening goal scorer, Anna Hunt, taking a well-deserved rest. Bring you confirmation of her replacement in just a moment, of course. Back to live action here with Feeney. Clipped in towards Bowfields. And again, it's Kiva Bray. Cussing out the ball. And distributing well indeed. Madeline Conn couldn't quite retain it on the halfway line, though. Bowfields will race after this one. Kiva Bray is quick off her line. And it's a good ball for Josie Allen as well. Well, she nearly had an assist there, Kiva Bray. But for the timely intervention of Amelia Feeney, felt that she was impeded unfairly. Referee says nothing doing. On we go. Well, that's Sarah Farrow and Sean Wild. It's expertly done by Sean Wild. Had front position there. Laura Knipe now winning the free kick after the contact from Van Dyke, who is none too impressed. Con was looking to link up with Collins. Not quite on that occasion, though. Jenny Hill. Lost it momentarily, but they'll have it back by way of throw-in on that far touch line, Willow students. Hogan. Coming forward now is Sarah Farrow. Fresh legs to get at the Jets defence here. A little too much on the pass, though. Bofields was arriving late. Just a... A little too far ahead of her, though. How off? Hammonds couldn't quite reach it. She's just about run herself into the ground this afternoon, has Miss Milan Hammond. Contact from Madeline Conn. A little too much for the referee's liking, so the students will have a free kick just about in the middle of the park here. Just about everyone back behind this one for the hosts. Driven long. Well, it's an effort on goal, in fact, I think that from Charlotte Hampshire. No real threats on Kiva Bray's goal at the end of it, though. And so it remains. Sydney Uni 2. The emerging Jets 1. To the final 11 or so minutes here in Lake Macquarie. Sarah Farrow trying to dance around the outside of Milan Hammonds, and Milan Hammonds remained down on this near touchline in some discomfort. As we were just saying, she's just about run herself into the ground this afternoon, and let's hope this is just a touch of cramp from Hammonds. bit of concern as to the well-being of the Jets number 24 and you can maybe just about hear how much discomfort Milan Hammond is in here quite a bit of concern here Sarah Farrow helping out her opposing teammates
Well, she's going to be substituted in any case. Milan Hammond, it's been a sparkling performance from the Jets number 24. Only soured by what is currently unfolding right in front of us here. It looks like it is just a touch of cramp. She's receiving quite a bit of stretching here. The Jets will need to try and put that behind them and get on with it. Josie Allen launching one forward. It's Emily Franklin who's come on in place of Hammond. Meanwhile, this will break kindly for Alexis Collins. Bursting into the area is Collins! Alexis Collins 2, Emerging Jets 2, Sydney Uni 2. From 2 nil down in the depths of despair to 2 apiece. I'll tell you what, the Emerging Jets, it's nothing less than they have deserved. Got another Jets player down at the end of that sequence of play, though. Saw Milan Hammond go down just a moment or so ago. It looks like it's Josie Allen being helped to a feat there. She's another one who's... Really clocked up the kilometres in this one. Has Josie Allen, of course, got the assist for the first goal. Being helped from the field of play by one of her teammates there as well. In Alexis Collins, who benefited from the wonderful assist from Josie Allen. Oh, she's able to make her way off the field under her own head of steam now. In good news for both her and the Jets. Even able to break into a little bit of a jog there. So she may just about be okay to continue. But for the time being, the Jets down to 10 with just under 10 to play. Threlfo couldn't quite win the tackle. Second phase, Sydney Uni not quite able to make anything of it. Farrow for the students, well stolen in there by Sharp. Ball was just a little bit behind Emily Franklin, but Madeline Conn will retrieve it. Conn's delivery towards the 14 for the Jets in the form of Laura Knipe. Well, I think you... Would have to probably agree, it's fair to say the Jets, if we are to have a winner today, would be more than worthy of it. Couldn't quite go ahead on that occasion. Their first... Two goals of the season here at Lake Macquarie. Josie Allen is back on the pitch, so that's great news for the Jets as they look to, well, not just secure a point, but perhaps go on and win all three. And who could begrudge them of that? Meanwhile, both fields. Striding forward, taken off her toe by Sharp, and again, the Jets looking to soar forward. Pass was comfortably cut out, though. Here's Van Dyke. Stealing in is Howarth. Now Franklin, it's a great-looking ball here for Collins. Only to be denied by a fantastic save again by Chelsea Cromack. Well, she's been 
heavily involved this afternoon has Shromek. She might just be needed again here. She is indeed as comfortable enough at the end of it. Well, I said a 2-1. This one was oh so finely poised. How about it? 2-2. Still five or so to play. This one again comes in towards the near post. Cleared by Hampshire. And Sydney Uni are going to their bench for the final time this afternoon. Oh. It's going to be Olivia Vanderlaan coming on as the Jets look to swing this one in towards Knipe, who nods it down in the direction of Franklin. Wide it will go, swung back in. Sets up for an absolutely frenetic finish here in the Hunter. O'Hagan for the Jets. Just wants to get it forward immediately. Josie Allen is, I was going to say herring after this one, but she's perhaps not moving as freely as she was 85 minutes ago. She is still up and about and moving, which is always a threat. Thrown in towards Vandalan. Wonderfully defended by Emma O'Hagan. Again, she had front position. Good use of the body to not let Vandalan get on the end of that. And just behind for a goal kick at the end of it. And again, they want to get forward with great urgency. The Jets just a little too eager on that occasion. Here's Jenny Hill. Why to go for Jennifer Kikoris. Hill once again. Kikoris turns one and has her heels clipped on the way through. Well, the last time they got a point, the emerging Jets was here back. In August 2023, a one-all draw with Gladesville Ravens. As this one is clipped in towards Vandalan, who's going to have to turn on the afterburners to keep it in play. She's done well, Olivia Vandalan. Supporting cast is Hampshire. Feeney has stayed forward. And may have just left a bit of a hole at the back here. Sarah Farrow will... Race back after this one. Charlotte Hampshire. Just back to Hromek. Well, doesn't want to calm things down, Hromek. Just sends it straight back upfield, and the Jets will look to return serve immediately. Madeline Conn. Taken off her toe, though, by Jenny Hill. And then Madeline Conn, just for good measure, taking it back off the toe of Jenny Hill. Wonderful ball to unleash Josie Allen on this near touch line. Fizzed in towards the head of Laura Knipe once again. And another wonderful opportunity for the Jets. Just going unrewarded there. Definitely could not begrudge them a win today. So close on so many occasions. Last season, to three points were the Jets. It wasn't to be. As we said, the one-all draw with Gladesville Ravens. They were four-all against... Spirit FC as well. Two all draw with the Football New South Wales Institute. They could be on track for their first point of the season here in round four in the Hunter.
They'll have the throw as well on this near touch line. Good endeavour. Good defending, I should say, from Sean Wilde. Back to Emma O'Hagan. Loves to carry it forward from centre back. Picked out by Hampshire. Closed down immediately by a combination of Knipe and Josie Allen. And then Madeline Conn in there for good measure. I think it was the third one, perhaps, that conceded the foul. Through the regulation 45 here at Lake Macquarie. Just time added on left to play. Will we find a winner in the three or so minutes that remain? Sydney Uni, though, on the attack here as time ticks on. Cleared. Well, not quite, actually. It's Laura Knight pulling out of the clearance and eventually looking to release Alexis Collins. She's got a brace so far this afternoon. A hat-trick would be absolutely spectacular for Alexis Collins and for the Jets. Con couldn't quite reach it. Feeney clearing. Well, you can't look away, can you? O'Hagan reaching that first for the Jets. Feeney swinging that in, and Kiva Bray with a confident take. She's another one who's been very good this afternoon, Kiva Bray. A couple of very good saves, some good distribution as well. Van Dyke. Still Madison Van Dyke. Good strength. Sliding challenge from Charlotte Hogan. Real engine room in the middle of the park is Hogan, and she's continued to get forward here, looking to go box to box. Sliding one in for Bofields, and a very well timed challenge indeed at the end of it from Emma O'Hagan. Quickly back to her feet to receive the pass as well. Not interested in carrying it forward or playing their way out from the back. That time the Jets, they just want to get things on the move. In the direction of Josie Allen. Amelia Kirby does well to hold off her advances. And now Sydney Uni with perhaps one last roll of the dice. Surely that seals it for Sydney Uni. It can be such a cruel game at times. The Jets had pulled it out of the fire to bring it back to 2-2. I'm not sure, to be totally honest, if it was a cross or a shot. I'm sure if you ask her, she'll be absolutely adamant it was a shot. But that could just seal the three points today for Sydney Uni. The fourth minute of added time. Only a matter of a minute or so left to play here in the Hunter. Previously, or the, I shouldn't say previously, the excellent Kiva Bray beaten right at the death. Perhaps just about enough time for one last chance here for the hosts. Emily Franklin, but for the last ditch challenge of Sarah Farrow, Franklin might have just got the shot away there. Last chance saloon here for the Jets. Franklin's corner. Cleared by Hampshire. And now Vandalan. Farrow. We'll just play it up over halfway. 
Everyone behind the ball now for Sydney Uni. The Jets want to get things on the move quickly, and that's a very smart turn. Great feat from Emily Franklin. Cross is blocked by Jenny Hill, though. Will they have another corner? Well, no, Hill prevents that. Emma O'Hagan once again stepping forward, and she'll go herself. O'Hagan. Cromick had a long time to see that sail through the air. Plucks that one out of the sky and sends us right back up the other end of the pitch. Well, not for long, though. The Jets went it back on halfway, launching it forward. And Feeney launching that one straight back out into touch. Cross will come in, blocked off or cut out by Hampshire. Cleared once more into touch. Sydney Uni having to repel wave after wave of attack here from the Jets. They want a point. They deserve a point. And they might just get a point here. Well, how's this for late drama in the Hunter? Laura Nipe was through on goal, looked to dink the ball over Chelsea Cromick. The ball sailed over the crossbar, but the contact from Cromick on Laura Nipe will send us to the spot once again. You can't look away for a second. Josie Allen now with a chance to once again square the ledger for the Jets. It is Josie Allen. Was there ever any doubt? She gets the goal that her performance so richly deserves. And once again, the Jets pulling this one straight out of the fire. Chelsea Gromek went the right way. The seventh minute of time added on. Here in the Hunter, it is the Emerging Jets 3, Sydney Uni 3. Well, does ever, anyone ever actually want this one to end? I'm sure the players probably just about do. But for those watching, whether you're here in the Hunter or joining us on the stream this afternoon, I'm sure you're enjoying this one as much as I am. And Josie Allen... Is brought down about 25 yards from goal, and she stayed down as well. Has Josie Allen. Meanwhile, the Jets continue their foray forwards. Again, just blocked off in the channel. And now Sydney Uni looks to get forward themselves. Van Dyke is held up by Laura Knight, who won the penalty just moments ago. Into the eighth minute of time added on. Well, actually, into the ninth minute, I should say. Bit of an aimless free kick, really, from halfway. Claims by Kiva Bray, and that will indeed be thus here in the Hunter. The Jets have their first competition points for 2024. An absolutely enthralling ding-dong affair here. and swung from one end to the other. Sydney Uni went two goals to the goods. Goals to Anna Hunt in the first half and Ava Pritchard in the second. Alexis Collins pulled one back after a fantastic through ball from Josie Allen. Alexis Collins then added a third. That was a freakish goal that sent Sydney Uni ahead just before the 90th minute. But not to be for the students today. Josie Allen in the 97th minute with the goal that her performance so richly deserved and a point that the Emerging Jets so richly deserved as well. This one has finished in the Hunter. The Emerging Jets 3, Sydney Uni 3. Well, from all of us here at Football New South Wales, I hope you've enjoyed this one as much as we all have. But from me, it's bye for now.